Hey everybody, I'm Matt Howe. And I'm Dan Howe. And we are going to break down the difference between residential grade mowers to commercial grade mowers for Toro. Toro makes a time cutter, a Titan, and a Z-Master. So whether you're a residential guy with a one acre lot, or a commercial guy with 80 accounts, Toro's got something for everyone. The Time Cutter Series is made for the homeowner. So whether you've got half an acre or up to even three acres, I think the Time Cutter could be a fit for you. So lots of differences as we go from one to the other. So let's kind of hit on those big points. First of all, the deck. The deck is a 10 gauge steel. You have a fabricated deck on this particular model. Most of the Time Cutter models have a fabricated deck. This particular model does. They do make some baseline, I think 42 inch models that have a stamped deck, which isn't quite as robust, but still, for a residential grade mower, as you look around this machine, the thickness of the steel is tubular framing. It's really pretty robust for something that's residential grade. On this particular model, it is equipped with a Kawasaki 23 horsepower. Again, this is a 50 inch cut. And so 23 horsepower is well suited for what it's doing. You can get a time cutter as small as a 42 inch all the way up to a 60 inch. This is a residential grade engine. Some of the commercial grade series mowers has a bigger air canister filter and some other components within it that make it last longer. And of course you can get bigger sizes as you go to commercial grade as well. Really the biggest difference between something that's residential grade and commercial grade is actually the pumps. So these come standard with an HG2100 pump. They can go all the way up to HG5400 series. And then they can also get into a Parker hydraulic transmission, which is even beefier than the HG uh, hydro gear pumps. Another difference is a three gallon fuel tank that comes standard with the Time Cutter series. Uh, the battery is very accessible in this model right in the middle. Sitting on the Time Cutter is a really nice feature because they give you a really nice plush seat. There's a lot of other companies out there that have more of a hardened seat that's just not quite as comfortable. Comes equipped with armrests, which is really common on a lot of the Time Cutter series. Um, again, depends on what model you get, but it, it does have a nice ability to raise the deck up and down. So one thing you do miss when you get into the Time Cutter series is these go by half inch increments. When you go up to the Titan and the Z Master series, you start to get into quarter inch increments. Um, there is a, a port here that helps you clean out the deck. That's something that's nice as a homeowner, hook your hose up. Um, you can turn the blades on, that helps you with that. Um, they make the, these casters replaceable and removable. We've actually seen it in a number of cases as we've repaired uh, mowers uh, for, for bearings or different things or this to get hurt. And so that's kind of a nice feature that those are replaceable. One thing you'll notice when you turn a Toro time cutter on, I'll turn the key to the on position. If you move the handlebars in, you'll hear a sound. Well, these actually have an electric parking brake and we've seen a lot of Toro time cutters come through our shop. I have never, don't hold me to this never happening, but I've never seen uh, one of these electric parking brakes that we've had to repair even. So it's a really good system, a strong system that we have not seen go wrong. You know, they do a good job with that. So as you go up to other grades, there's a parking brake that you can see on it. This one is just putting the arm bars out. So it's really a simplistic feature. It's really intuitive. And then lastly, on this Toro Time Cutter, you'll see there are three different speed settings. They do say that, hey, this is where you can mow fast and this would be slower. Maybe you're pulling something. They're really just three speed ranges. It's really more of a beginner level feature because you can just control your speed by simply not pressing it as much. So if you're really new to the world and you want to go into a slower speed setting, it's just going to help give you a, a little bit better idea of how fast to go in certain areas. So Toro does not put a standard hour meter on the machine. That is an option that you can get when you purchase the machine, but it is not a standard. If you are going to commercial grade, there are different commercial grade warranties we're going to talk about. You can use this and the other for some light commercial use up to a certain hour amount. You would want to get that hour meter installed if you know that you're going to use uh, this for commercial cutting. That sums up the Toro Time Cutter series. Equipped with a three-year warranty, which is a really strong warranty for residential use, it's a really great option for a homeowner. Okay, so now we're going to upgrade and talk about the Titan. And we'll bring it all the way down here to the deck. Now you're still getting a 10 gauge deck, but they add this bull nose for a little bit extra protection on the front. And on the deck, you're getting a rubber chute 
versus the time cutter having a plastic that's a little more brittle. Now with the time they actually give you a step because this is a floating deck, a little more structural sound than the time cutter. This particular model comes with the MyRide suspension system, which is about a $1,000 upgrade, but offers a lot of comfort to the driver. So the Titan, like Matt said, offers quarter inch increments, and it also has a foot pedal deck lift. The Titan does not have an electronic parking brake. It's got the manual lever. So this particular Titan has the Kohler 26 horsepower engine. And something you notice moving up in grades is a larger air canister. So like Matt was saying, the, the time cutter comes with an HG2100 series pump, where the Titan, you can get a 2800 series, or if you get the Titan Max, you can get a 3100 series pump. Another noticeable feature moving from the time cutter to the Titan are the size of the wheels. The front wheels in the back, and if you notice, they put a really aggressive, large tire on the back that's gonna help you with speed and climbing hills. The Titan offers a five gallon fuel tank, and then with a Titan Max, you can actually upgrade to a seven gallon fuel tank. That combined with the upgraded hydraulics, you really start to appeal to that starter entry level commercial guy. So last, I wanna talk about warranty. Now with the Titan, you can get a three year warranty with the, the Titan and then a four year warranty with the Titan Max. So before we move on to the Z Master, which is a straight up commercial machine, you can be a commercial contractor and use either of these models. The warranty is gonna be a little bit different. So the warranty we talked about is if you are using it residential use. You can still get a commercial warranty on these machines. So a little bit confusing for Toro, but we're gonna break down the difference. So, they offer a Toro engine that can go on these. It's a different series than the particular model right here. They offer a 300 hour warranty for commercial use if you have the Toro engine in it. It's only going to cover the engine. So you can get a commercial warranty. It's only gonna cover your Toro engine. They actually say commercial grade right on the engine. So kind of to clarify those. If you move over to the Titan series, you can get a 300 hour warranty on the whole machine. It's going to cover whether you get a Kohler engine, it's going to cover whether it's Kawasaki, whether it's the Toro. So 300 hour commercial warranty. If you upgrade to the Titan Max, you actually get a 500 hour commercial grade warranty. Lastly, if you go all the way up to the Toro Z Master, there's a lot of different series. So you have a 2000 series all the way up to a 6000 series. This happens to be that 6000 series. This is about as expensive of a 6000 series as you can go. This video is titled 2022. Uh, disclaimer, this is actually made in 21 in November, so nearly there. Uh, this is what's being sold in the 2022 class. So we have talked about the decks. If you get into a 2000 series Toro Z Master, you're gonna have 10 gauge steel on top and seven gauge steel up front. On the 6000 series, you got seven gauge steel all the way around. If you zoom in on this deck, it is super thick and robust. This has the Volmos feature, just like the Titan did. And a uh, very thick, robust deck. If you look around at the rest of the frame, also really thick. Uh, the seven gauge steel makes a huge difference if you are a commercial grade cutter. Similar to the Titan, once you upgrade to the Z Master, you're still getting cuts in quarter inch increments. And with the floating deck system, they put a rod instead of the chain, so you've got quite a bit more durability. They give you a step. Also, put tie-down points for your trailer. Most fuel-injected engines come in a Kohler. They do have some outside of that, but we tend to see a lot of our options for Kawasaki to be carbureted, so you'll see a lot of fuel-injected options. This particular one happens to be the 38-horse big block. This is as big as they come. Um, they can get a 37 horse Vanguard as well. You can get into really big Kawasaki's. You can go as low as 23 uh, horsepower for something that's a 60 inch deck. So uh, we, we've kind of talked about it before, but you can go uh, a Z Master as low as a 48 inch cut, or you can go up to a 60 and 72 inch. The 72 inch this year is a little bit harder to come by, harder to find. Talk about the air canisters as a common theme as you go up in grade, this one is uh, fully outside of the machine, a little bit more serviceable, and you can just tell by looking at the engine on this particular one how big and how robust it is. You're getting a lot of upgraded components when you go to the commercial grade engine. So, 
we, we just generally talked about the stylistic differences of the engines. The engines are gonna last about twice as long when you get to a fully commercial grade engine. Same for the hydraulic pumps when you get into something that's commercial grade. We commonly see these go two, three, four, five thousand hours when you get into a commercial grade machine. So the pumps that are on this are uh, kind of switching over from that HG or ZT series hydro gear to Parker transmission. So they make them in 12cc and up to 16cc. This happens to be the 16cc hydraulic uh, pumps on here. When you go into the 2000 series, you're starting out at a ZT, I believe 32 or 3400 series, and it goes all the way up to ZT 5400 before you get into the cell pump. So, all the way down from a 21 up to a 54 series and then now to the Parker hydraulic pumps. So those are kind of the full gamut of what you can get for the hydraulic pumps. And these will last about twice as long, like I said, as something that is a, a ZT2100 series. So with the Z-Master, there are a couple different options you can get for suspension. They make a my ride suspension. This is actually a suspension seat, which is quite comfortable. So another option with the Z-Master is the fuel tank. The 2000 series start with a 7 gallon tank all the way up to a 12 gallon tank with the 6000 series. An added option in the 6000 series is to have this Horizon technology. This is basically an onboard computer system. It does uh, things like give you these basic stats which you can see on the screen right now, but also helps with your fuel efficiency. So it's telling, uh, you know, it's got a computer telling it how much fuel to inject in the machine and it gets you better uh, fuel economy and there are added features that are coming along with Toro. If you're a, a big commercial guy and you're keeping track of fleets, this will actually have the technology to tell you exactly how much grass your guys are cutting, when the mower is on, when the blades are on. So it gives you some really cool technology. And you notice by looking at this, there's no area just to throttle up or down. It's got three different speed settings. When you turn this on, I'm gonna fire this up right now. Pretty cool how that actually just gives you three settings and that's part of the computer knowing exactly how much fuel to inject based on what you're trying to do. Thank you for joining Dan and I. There was a lot of information. I'm tugging after going through all that from the time cutters to the Z Masters. There's so many makes models within that and this is just Toro we're talking about. So well, we would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. Hit that like button. Yeah, and if there's anything we missed or you guys have questions, you saw something in the video, you're like, I, I want some more information on that, or I think you could have added this, let us know. We want that feedback. And as always, Tooler Toy, we have it.